Welcome back to Eddie Speed Garage. I'm Ed. This is my 2019 Honda Pilot EXL all-wheel drive. The reason I'm making a video today is because the Service VTM4 rear fluid came on. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to change the rear differential fluid. I'm going to make the video for you. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is Eddie Speed Garage. I'm Ed. Let's get started. The need for the oil change here on this. Uh, I hear the Torian EXLs are different with their fluid and differential, but it is a VTM4 system, but they've moved to the dual pump fluid too. So you'll need 1.9 quarts of that. There's two crush gaskets there to replace the ones that you're going to take off there. And I just bought this little Pennzoil pump. It says it fits all standard US quarts. And we're going to give that a shot. It'll be a lot better than trying to squeeze it or trying to siphon. So let's get, let's get started. So these are a little different than the older styles. So you could still look through here from the back of the vehicle and see this is the fill plug here okay it used to be that the drain plug would be just down here on the same side but they've moved it all the way over here to the front driver's side so before you even take this off you want to make sure you can fill it so we're going to take this one off first it doesn't look like you need an extension or anything to put a ratchet right on there and break that loose make sure you get a drain pan handy I don't really have a camera person, so I'm going to do the best I can here. Get that put in there. Give it a nice pull, and it should break it loose. No, I didn't break my ratchet. It's a special ratchet. And so that's loose. So now we can go ahead and take the drain plug off. You see, got my ratchet on the bolt. So I'm gonna break that one loose. There we go. Now pull the ratchet out. We're gonna drain the fluid. Spin, spin, spin. And release. I'm gonna wanna inspect this. Let's see what kind of stuff it's got on it. It looks pretty clean. No metal shavings or anything. So we'll just let this drain and we'll put the drain plug back in with the new washer. I'll show you there, even though it looked like there wasn't much on there, there's a lot of metal shavings on the tip of that magnet there on that plug. So here's the two plugs. There's the smaller one with the magnet on it, that's the drain plug, and there's the bigger one, that's the fill plug. To see no difference, those are the two old washers, and they both have their new washers already on. So here's a little setup sitting on top of the quart bottle. Looks like it's going to work out pretty good. I just hope it moves quite a bit of fluid and I'm not down here pumping all day. I just want to show you guys this thing works easy, pumps easy. This fluid back here is pretty thin anyways and it seems to be moving it pretty fast. But I'll be back and I'll show you when we're done putting the plug back in. All right, so we got the plug back in. Easy peasy, it took me about four minutes to pump both quarts in there, and it, it took every bit of both of them, because I am on a little bit of a downhill, so it's not gonna hurt anything. Make sure you get them both nice and tight. You're gonna wanna wipe all of the residual oil that leaked out off so you can monitor for leaks. And then I'll go in the car. I already reset the light, but I'll show you exactly how to reset that light. All right, we're back inside the vehicle. In order to reset your maintenance light, we're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go into vehicle. We're gonna go maintenance information. You see how it says engine oil here? Well, mine also says, it said rear VTM fluid. So you just go hit that button, hit reset, hit reset again, and it resets it. I just reset my oil light, it couldn't do it because it didn't need to. But that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe. I do this for you guys. I'll see you on the next video.